guys and welcome back to another video. So this is another vlog, another London theatre vlog. But this vlog is going to be covering multiple trips to London, all to see the same show. So, what am I going to see? You'll know by the title. But I am going to see The View Upstairs, which is a musical. They performed it in America and it has an album and stuff and now they've brought it over to England and it's on at the Soho Theatre in London for a limited run and I am going to see it multiple times because included in the cast is none other than Andy Mientes. He's one of my favourite actors ever. He's one of my role models. I look up to him. I love him. And he's performing in London. <laughs> so I discovered Andy back in 2014 because he was in The Flash and he plays my all-time favourite Flash character, Hartley Rathaway. After seeing him as Hartley, I kind of discovered Andy as an actor and, you know, he was in, like, Les Mis on Broadway. He's done a bunch of stuff and then he was in a TV show called Gone, played a character called James, which I watched and loved as well and I just I love him so much and I really look up to him so much he is insane he is incredible and I've always dreamed of the day that he would come and perform in England so that I could see him perform live and today's the day it's happening guys I'm going to see Annie Mientes in person performing live on stage it's not sinking in but I'm planning to go two or three times but I'm gonna basically vlog every single time and put them all in one vlog Annie Mientes oh my god I've been waiting for this for five years this is amazing I, I still can't believe that this is happening the future is bright fabulous and carefree the gays run half a Hollywood and hold hands publicly. Oh, I'm in London. The plan is to go to the new theatre cafe because they opened up a bigger theatre cafe the other month and I haven't been able to go yet, so I'm gonna go there. But it's also open mic. Do I sing? Do I not sing? I want to, but I'm probably gonna chicken out. But I don't wanna chicken out. I wanna do it. I don't know. Hey, now that I'm sure, what's better, you can shop online for discount ho couture. Trailer trash make millions. I'm here If I could take you back with me, your mind would be blown. Being fabulous all the time can get a little pricey, but the future is great. Trust me. In my seat, it's not singing in. I'm gonna be a mess when he comes on stage. You meet blue eyed boys with cheekbones that could cut clear through steel, who hide in corners, clutching over price drinks like a shield. Though I don't even know what to say. I, I still need to cry. I just met Andy. a boy without saying a word, and if it turns out that he's. I just got back, and the musical itself has just hit me. They, they were selling the script. I was gonna say I don't want to give away any spoilers, but this isn't gonna go up until after the run has finished, so I feel like I can give spoilers. When the show finished and it went to blackout before the curtain call, I was literally like fully sobbing, trying to let it all out before the lights came back up. It's getting to me now, because the show's sad enough, but it's... <laughs> I didn't think it would hit me this hard. It's the fact that it's based on a real event. It's not fiction, like this actually happened. For those of you who don't know, I haven't actually said anything about what the play is about. It is about an arson attack that was made in, what's the year, 1970, I wanna say three. There's a whole song about the year. I should know this. Yeah, 1973 on the upstairs lounge, which was a gay bar and 32 people died. Admittedly, I didn't really know much about it. When they announced the view upstairs and like, I checked it out because of Andy. It, it mentioned the attack and I, li I didn't know what they were talking about, which is upsetting. Like, the fact that I had no idea that this happened. I and mean, it did happen in America, but I should have known. Oh, this musical broke me. Padre's monologue and the way they, the, oh, just the whole way they staged it. Because the whole way through the show, you know it's coming. You know the attack is going to be what happens at the end. And yet, it still hits you. I don't even know how to describe how they did it. It just, it left me a speechless, sobbing mess. I really want to, one of the times that I go see it, I want to get a stage seat. Because there were some seats literally on the stage. There's one moment where Andy sat on one of the tables in between two 
of the seats that people were sat on. I should try and book one of those seats. <laughs> so much has happened in the space of like half a day and my brain is just, whoa. The show as a whole and the whole cast, oh my god, Tyrone, who played Wes, him and just the whole cast in general were absolutely insane and the musical itself the songs were so good i loved the choreography as well and to top it all off i met andy mientes afterwards he was so lovely i was a gushing mess i just wanted to thank him for being an incredible role model and that i did i was so glad i got to thank him I told him that you know he's been my role model for five years and i told him i'm a musical theater student and that i want to be an actor and he said good luck and then I gave him my drawing. I don't think I actually mentioned this in the vlog, but I did show a, a picture of it. I did a drawing of Hartley. So I gave him the artwork. Oh my God. I can't believe that I just saw him perform live. And <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna cry again. <laughs> His happy tears this time, we're good. I, I really got to see Andy perform. Like we go in booking tickets for two more shows. I'm going for that stage seat because I'm pretty certain that's sort of the one next to the table that Andy sits on. I'm doing the stage seat next week. August the 20th, which is the very last week that it's on. I would have gone to the last performance, but I have work, so I have to go on a Tuesday. So I'm just going in the last week and I'm gonna go front row. So we're gonna get that book right now at 20 to 1 in the morning. Adidi. Hello. It has been a week since I last updated y'all and I am on my way currently to London to go and see the view upstairs for a second time. It's literally a week. I saw it last Tuesday. It's now the following Tuesday. It's my day off, so it's the only day I can go. Over the course of the past week, I have just been reading the script, listening to the uh, off-Broadway cast album and I've just fallen even more in love with this musical and especially the current cast and I miss it. It's been a week but I miss it. So I guess what we're listening to on the way to the station right now. But it's Why not do something extreme? Shave your eyebrows up, maybe buy a building. Yo, currently I'm actually writing a letter to Andy. I really like writing letters to actors who I look up to because I feel like it's the best way for me to tell them everything I want to say because even if I do meet them at stage door or where wherever, I am so socially awkward and normally end up being a gushing mess. And I don't say everything I want to with the sincerity that I want it to have. And that was definitely the case when I met Andy last week. I'm currently writing it out. It is, it's so long. He's gonna hate me. <laughs> He doesn't have to read it. Seeing the view upstairs today is especially exciting because I have a stage seat. I'm gonna be sat on the actual stage, which I am really excited about. I'm also low key really nervous because the whole theater is gonna be able to see me cry. This may be a mistake, but I'm excited to see what it's like. This is the closest I'm gonna get to performing in London. <laughs> Just sat on the stage. Future is great, Future is don't you agree? Sex is quick, convenient, and usually free. Sometimes I fear I'll never learn how to love But the future is great Sort of I never had a mentor I've been out to I'm the only one sat on the stage right now The show starts in like five minutes I'm really nervous but this is gonna be insane Oh my god <laughs> have to think about how great <laughs> oh my god that was incredible that, that's be. probably the best theater experience i think i've ever had hi i'm back where do i start i was sat on the stage then like at the side of the stage it was stage left there were like three chairs and then a table and then three more chairs and I was in the one directly next to the table and there wasn't anyone in the seats next to me, but there were people in the seats the other side of the table. So the whole sitting on the stage thing is, is in, it was insane. The most amazing theater experience I have ever had. As someone who wants to be on a stage like that one day, getting to actually like sit on the stage and kind of be involved with the production to some extent, it was, it was, um, 
inspiring, like seeing the acting from that close. The actors don't pretend you're not there. Like they know you're there, they interact with you. That we had actors, you know, talking to us and looking at us. Can't remember wh who it was, but one of them came and spoke to me at one point. I couldn't really hear exactly what they were saying. So I, I didn't know what to do either. So I just kind of smiled and nodded at them. But it was so cool and like I made eye contact so much which is shocking considering the fact that I hate making eye contact with people but I loved making eye contact with them mostly. I mean there was one moment when John who plays Buddy he came and stood directly in front of me. I just kind of look up slowly and he's just looking at me. <laughs> he's looking directly at me and I just kind of make eye contact with him for like a second and I just slowly look away again because I could not hold eye contact with him. He was just stood there and I'm like <laughs> it was so intimidating, but that was so funny. Carly smiled at me a couple of times, and there was this, oh my god, there was this one moment that I'm going to cherish forever. It was during, I believe it was Sex on Legs, which, if you haven't seen the show, that is a drag number, which the character Freddie sings. It's, it's fun, it's a bop, it is a party. Obviously, all the characters are just dancing and having a blast on stage. And at one point, Carly and Victoria, who play Henry and Inez, they were stood right in front of me dancing. And both Carly and Victoria, who were dancing together, just turned to me. And both of them have the biggest smiles and they just smile at me. And the three of us are just there like, yeah. That was amazing. Like, I, I felt a part of it. I was literally a part of that number briefly for a second. I wanted to jump out of my seat and dance along with them. I wanted to do that so many times during that show. Like normally when I go and see a show, as someone who wants to be an actor and who does a lot of acting, I often struggle with the want of wanting to be on that stage. Like, you know, watching it from the audience is great, but I wanna be on that stage performing and I've never struggled with that feeling more than I did tonight. I just wanted to get up and join in. Like, you know what another highlight of the night was? So, remember I said that I booked my ticket on the stage seat because Andy, when I saw it last week, sat on the table next to the seat. He didn't sit on the table. He came and sat on the chair directly next to me. Like, we're talking, if I was in my seat, he was sat right here. Right here, directly next to me, for a good part of a whole song. And <laughs> he sung during that. But like, I'm t he was singing, and I could hear him singing, but not through the mic. Because normally when you're in the audience, you obviously hear it through the mic. Because you're too far away to hear them, like their actual voices coming out of their mouths. You have to hear it through like the speakers. I could hear his vocals pure, clear, straight from his mouth, not through the speakers. It was right in my ear. I have been blessed. His voice like is already good, but just hearing it from directly next to me. I heard Andy singing directly next to me. That was incredible. <laughs> But Andy, like he has very stylized movement um, for Patrick and I really noticed it. Like he even had it just sitting down. Like at one point he leaned back in the chair and it was just so in character. I was like, oh my God, he's acting. <laughs> I don't know why that was so shocking to me, but it was just a really cool moment getting to see you know, it wasn't Andy sat next to me, it was Patrick sat next to me, and it was so cool. I've never been able to appreciate a show as much as I can appreciate this show now. I've literally been, basically been in it. Just the whole show was so good. I had the biggest smile on my face for pretty much the whole show, not the end. To top it off, stage door afterwards was wonderful. I met Andy again. He was lovely and amazing as always, and I gave him my letter. God, I, I can't believe, like, I can't believe it's him. So yeah, I met Andy and then, <laughs> and then Cedric came out. Cedric played Willie. So he comes over to me at the stage door and he's literally like, you were on the side of the stage just bawling. You nearly had me crying. Ah, why are you gonna call me out like this, Cedric? We had a lovely conversation. He asked me like my name. He even asked if he could hug me and we hugged. It was so sweet. He is so passionate about this musical. It is. It is lovely. He was so lovely, like, talking to me about the musical and how he saw me bawling. And I told him, you know, it was my second time, so I thought I might not cry, but I was still crying. And we had a lovely conversation. And he was just lovely. And then, as if it wasn't already crazy enough, um, someone who 
Cedric knows was in the audience but he literally he came over to us talking and he just said this girl was really cute grinning ear to ear the whole time like he said that to Cedric and I'm like oh you noticed <laughs> because I literally didn't stop smiling for, like the whole show C Cedric then replied to that with until the end when she was bawling like crazy <laughs> Why you gotta call me out like this, dude? But that made me so happy, the fact that this guy, like, noticed that I'd been smiling the whole time. Because I had, like, I couldn't stop smiling the whole time. And, like, most of the songs I was, like, tapping my foot or something to the beat. And, oh my god, it was just so good. And I love that, like, someone saw that and the cast were aware of it. Because I, I want them to know, you know, how much I love them and this show. They have my full support. And love. But yeah, so meeting Cedric at Stage Door was lovely. Thank you so much, Cedric. Um, it's lovely to see, you know, when actors are like really passionate about the show they are in, especially one with such a big message. So like I said, I got Cedric and Andy. They so kindly signed my program for me. There we go. They're on the same page. That's that's satisfying. Look at that. Fancy gold writing. And that is where I'm going to leave you guys for today. But this vlog is not over because I am seeing it one more time before it closes. In two weeks, I'll be sat in the front row. I can't wait. Okay, I am back, except it isn't two weeks later. It's one week later. It is not the 20th of August. It is the 13th of August. And I'm, I'm going to see the view upstairs again. So originally the plan was that I saw it last week on the 6th of August, which was my second time seeing the view upstairs, and then I was going to be seeing it for the third and final time on the 20th of August, which is the last week of its run. I really am not ready for the view upstairs to close. Less than two weeks it closes and I'll never get the chance to see this particular cast perform this musical ever again and I've gotten very attached so I actually convinced my dad to come with me to see the view upstairs so my dad is coming today <laughs> I'm now seeing the view upstairs today and I already do have a ticket for next week so I'm seeing it two more times I'll see it a total of four times before it closes I am so excited and I am so excited to take my dad this time I'm not gonna be a loner for once Oh my god, and to make it even better, we're sitting on the stage. <laughs> it's also going to be really fun taking my dad because he's also a fan of Andy Mientes because he watches The Flash with me and he watched Gone with me. So he knows who Andy is. He's seen two TV shows that Andy is in. So he's probably just as excited to meet Andy as I was. Okay, maybe not that excited, but he's definitely excited to see Andy. And I'm so excited to be able to take someone else to see this musical because everyone should see this musical and I'm really excited to see what my dad thinks of it. I'm so excited. I'm seeing it two more times. Times. This vlog just got a whole lot longer. So yeah, let's go! From the start, like Hello, <laughs> we're back here again. We're home in London. <laughs> One of these days I'm gonna steal you away and all that that implies Cause your sex on legs, I'm all so shy Excited. I'm very excited, especially now I'm sat with you. Yay, yeah, I'm sat where I was last week. It's on the piano. No, you can't play the piano. Okay. Good seeing you. We are back. I'm emotional and I'm only seeing it one more time. I'm going to interview my dad in a second to see how he found it. What happened after the show, we stage doored and I met Andy and Cedric again. I've come to the conclusion that a normal conversation is just not going to happen with Andy because I just become a gushing mess every time I meet him. And I just say the exact same thing that I said the week before, except it's even less coherent than it was previously. I love this cast so much. <laughs> also stage seat, I was in the exact same seat that I was in last week and my dad was next to me. All of the stage seats were full this time. So during Lost and Found, Andy sat on the table right next to me. You know, I had a lot of fun. I don't even know what to say. I just, I love this show and this cast so much. The view upstairs, what did you think? Really good, really good. It was a nice experience because it was not such a big theater and it, the, all the casts were very good, all individual stories. And I thought they were all well done, all very well portrayed. And it was brilliant being sat by the side of the stage you really felt part of it. Well, they all they were all great, but Cedric was great. I was on the side of the stage, as I said, and he, he came up and he interacted. And then when I saw him at stage door, he was brilliant. And he came out, he remembered me. And, and you met Andy. I met Andy, yeah. <laughs> no, I know Andy from Flash and 
gone and I d he did a fantastic performance and it's good to hear him singing. Yo and welcome back to the last kind of little section of this vlog. It is now August the 20th. It's another Tuesday and I'm going to see The View upstairs today for the very last time before it closes this week. The 24th of August, this Saturday, is The View upstairs last performance at the Soho Theatre before it closes with this cast. Uh, unfortunately, I can't go to the last show because of work, so I'm going today instead. I have spent the past three, four weeks absolutely falling in love with this show. Every time I've gone to see it, I fall in love with it again. And in particular, this cast, each and every single cast member of the Soho Theatre production, they're all incredible and they're talented and lovely human beings and I've grown very attached. And I'm not ready to say goodbye to the show, to the cast, to any of it. I'm not ready to say goodbye, but I have to tonight. So <laughs> wish me luck. I'm sat front row tonight, which is exciting. I've not sat front row yet. I don't want it to end. I don't want it to end, but let's go. Sex on legs, I'm all so shy. Guys, there's a ward of dollars under my chair, which can only mean one thing. I'm getting a lap dance by Gary Lee. How to fall so far, I can't even recall Other than your body, don't impress me at all Won't look you in the eyes, I'll check my phone ten times I'll never gawk I don't have the words right now. It's both sink, sunk in that that was my last time, but it also hasn't at the same time. It just keeps hitting me at random moments, but specifically about the show tonight. So I sat front row and I was in, <laughs> I was in one of the seats that Gary Lee essentially, uh, how should I put this, gives a lap dance to during Sex on Legs, the drag number. He basically pretends to give two of the audience members in the front row a blowjob because he gets out Very these good to those of you who just joined us. Because he gets out these dollar bills which he then like puts in front of the fan to like fly everywhere during the number and they are stashed under two of the audience seats. So he like goes down to get the notes and pretends to give them a blowjob as he gets them. And I was in one of those seats, which was actually a complete accident, believe it or not. Like I didn't specifically book one of those seats. Because obviously I booked this ticket right after I saw the show for the very first time about three weeks ago and I didn't know which seat it was that he did it then because I'd only seen it from the second row back so I didn't see which specific seats he went to. I just booked the front row seat that was closest to the centre because the middle ones had already sold out so I got one slightly to the side and as it happened that was one of the seats. The money was like in a little pocket under the seat. That was so much fun. I loved it. It's just as immersive from the front row as it is from the side of the stage. Made eye contact a few times and sex on legs. Oh, it was so fun. It was so fun. <laughs> and as he came over to me, I just opened up my legs to give him access to under the chair so that he could get the money and like he'd already made eye contact with me during the song like he came and danced in front of me and like I, I just had the biggest grin on my face for the whole number so I like smiled at him and he danced and then he came over and did that and I was like fully into it to the point where I lip synced the lyrics for one of the lines I think it's the um screaming out your name bit and I was fully there like screaming name like as he did it it was so much fun it was so much fun oh that was so good that was so cool thanks for that gary i was really emotional <laughs> i think that was bound to happen wes literally has a line that he says to patrick where he says i don't want this to end and when he said that 
I fully sobbed. I was, I was gone. I've never cried that much during Cut and Cook before. I was the first person to stand up because I always want to stand up straight away. I'm never ballsy enough to do it. Like I have to have someone else stand up before I stand up, even though I want to stand up straight away. But tonight I was like, it's my last time seeing this cast. I need to give them the love they deserve. So I stood up as soon as the lights came on. Asked for stage door tonight, met Cedric. He said, welcome back. And I wasn't expecting him to remember me from last week. I told him it was my fourth time and then I told him it was my final time and he hugged me and I legit was so close to crying. Okay, we have finally made it to the outro of this video. I did not expect this vlog to be this long, but so much has happened over the past four weeks. It has been crazy, but it has now come to an end because I am filming this a week since you last saw me. It is now the 28th of August and the view upstairs has now closed at the Soho Theatre. It has been an emotional few days, to put it lightly. <laughs> Um, when when I first came to see this musical, I didn't expect to fall in love with it the way that I have. But here we are, and I miss it, really. I just, I miss it so much. Unfortunately, I couldn't be at the final performance on Saturday, but I sat home and listened to the soundtrack and sobbed. And through the view upstairs, I have actually made loads of friends online who also like this musical and a bunch of them went to see the last two shows on Saturday and we have this group chat and they were all telling us all about what happened and stuff. So I kind of lived the closing performance through them and what they told me and actually my friends, we collabed together and made a thank you video for the London cast and crew of The View Upstairs, which we posted to Twitter and YouTube. I will link it in the description below, but we all gave a little message that we wanted to say to everyone and posted that on Saturday before their final show, which I've just, I love that I've found people who also love this cast and show as much as I do. And we've all been very emotional lately, but we've, we've had each other to cry to. So we've, we've kind of been helping each other out as we all kind of recover from the show closing. I also wrote messages to the cast and crew and that that I posted in a thread on Twitter which I did on Saturday and the replies they've been sending of that have made me emotional and it's just been a very emotional few days. It just hits me at random moments and I suddenly start crying and it's just, I miss it so much. I never expected to fall in love with the show as much as I have um, I never expected for it closing to affect me this much, but I am genuinely heartbroken and I miss the cast so much. I want to go back. <laughs> I want to go back. Yesterday was the first Tuesday in five weeks that I wasn't in London watching The View Upstairs. And that is not a statistic that I like. The past few weeks have been the most incredible experience. I've seen a lot of shows, but I don't think any have ever hit me as hard as this one has. And I've just fallen in love with it. And it is, I'm so glad I've been introduced to this musical. I think I can wholeheartedly say now that The View Upstairs is one of my all time favorite musicals. Max Burnin is a genius. Everything he is put into this musical from the books to the lyrics and just all of it. It is, he's created such an impactful, powerful, important piece of theatre. Normally you go to the theatre for escapism, to escape the real world, but this show, it reminds you of the real world and actually makes you more aware of it, which I think is so important. I, I knew nothing about the upstairs lounge before I saw this musical and now, you know, I've, I've watched a documentary about it, I've researched into it since watching this musical, I've looked into other issues like this that have happened and hate crimes and that sort of thing and it's just made me so much more aware and it's really opened my eyes to the world that we're living in. It's so important. But on top of raising awareness and sending a really powerful message, this musical is just, it's a really good musical. It, 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 the songs are so good. I always find I have a different song from it stuck in my head every day and you have so much fun in that audience watching the show. Whether you are on the stage or you're at the back of the theatre, no matter where you're sat, it's an immersive experience and it's just so much fun to watch and and then the end is just so heartbreaking but it just it's a it's a roller coaster of emotions watching this musical and i'm so glad i've been able to experience it several times everything from jonathan's directing to fabian's choreography all 
just works so well and really adds to this piece. I can confidently say that The View Upstairs Soho Theatre London production was a masterpiece. It fully is. This experience has also introduced me to so many amazing, incredibly talented actors. Every single cast member in this production shone on that stage. They all brought something different to the show. They are all just incredible and they're lovely human beings and it has been an honour getting to watch them perform and do their thing every week for the past four weeks and I'm going to continue following and supporting each and every single member of the cast after this. I even got to meet some of them at stage door. I'll insert any stage door photos I got here. Thank you to Cedric and Andy for being so wonderful to me and to the whole cast. To Cedric, Andy, Tyrone, Victoria, Carly, Joseph, John, Declan, Derek and Gary, thank you. All of you, thank you so much for just being incredible. You are all so inspiring and it has been an absolute pleasure to watch you all perform in this production and I can't wait to see what all of you go on to do next. You have my full love and support from here on out. You are all incredible. Thank you. And thank you to all the cast and crew and every single person who had some sort of contribution to this production, the front of house staff at the Soho Theatre, every single person involved with this show. Thank you, thank you, thank you for making the past few weeks the most incredible theatre experience I think I have ever had. It has been amazing. I miss it so much, I'm sure we all do. And I really hope this isn't the end of The View Upstairs. It truly has been some kind of paradise that will live on inside our hearts now and forever. And that is the end of this vlog. What an adventure it has been. This has been insane, it's been incredible truly has. I hope that you now go and look into the view upstairs if you didn't see it in London, listen to the soundtrack, read the script and look into the upstairs lounge. This is uh, this is something we should all be aware of, we should all know and you don't need to watch the musical to learn about it. I would very much recommend the documentary Upstairs Inferno which is on Amazon Prime. Just look it up, we, we should know about this and we should be raising awareness. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, like, comment and subscribe and I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye! <laughs> oh, I miss the view upstairs and the cast so much. <laughs> okay, goodbye. <laughs>